So the Walk Right Shoe Company operates a chain of shoe stores that sells 10 different styles of inexpensive men's shoes with identical unit costs and selling prices. Now, a unit is defined as a pair of shoes. And each store has a store each store has a store manager who is paid a fixed salary. Individual salespeople receive a fixed salary and a sales commission. Walk Rice is considering opening another store that is expected to have the revenue and cost relationship showed in the table below. We are giving the unit variable data per pair of shoes and the annual fixed cost. So but to answer the following questions and I'll be answering them one by one. Now the first question is what is the animal break-even point in units sold and also in revenues? So we're going to start with the annual break-even point, and we're going to start with units and in revenues. So we have annual break-even points. So first of all, the selling price per unit, SP per unit, is thirty dollars from the from the table was then we subtract or less the variable cost per unit and the variable cost per unit is twenty one dollars so we less that and then what we get with the difference and that will be the contribution margin per unit And that is nine dollars, right? Because thirty minus twenty one is nine. So therefore, the contribution margin ratio, the contribution margin ratio, is equal to the contribution margin divided by selling price. So therefore, we're gonna have nine dollars. Contribution margin is nine dollars. Selling price is thirty dollars. So nine divided by thirty will be the contribution margin ratio, and that would be. 30%. Now, the first question, which is the break even, the annual break even point in units. So, therefore, the break even point in units, which is the first part of the question, would be the total fixed cost divided by the contribution margin per unit. So, yeah, we're going to have. The total fixed cost we are giving the table is three sixty thousand, and the contribution margin per unit is nine dollars that we are given. So when we divide this, our break-even point in units would be forty thousand units. And the B part of the question says the break-even points in revenue. So it's going to be a similar way to find that. So break even in revenue will basically be the fixed cost divided by the contribution margin ratio. And then this is equal to 360,000 divided by the contribution margin ratio is 30%, which we just found. So when you divide this, you're going to have 1,200,000 and that will be the break even points in revenues so the next question question two says if 35,000 units are sold so we sell 35,000 units what is the what will be the stores operating income or loss so the operating um the operating income or loss is what we're going to find And we sold 35,000 units. So number of units sold is 35,000 units, right? Right. So moving on, the contribution margin per unit that we found before is $9. And mind you, CM is contribution margin, so we don't forget. So contribution margin per unit is nine dollars. Then the total margin, the total contribution margin will be equals to 
35,000, basically multiply the number of units times the contribution margin per unit. So 35,000 units multiplied by $9, and that will give you $315,000. So I'm going to less the fixed costs. And mind you, fixed cost is $360,000, right? So when we less this from this, we're going to have minus, because $315,000 minus $360 will give you a minus. So it will be minus $45,000. So obviously, this is not a profit. This is going to be a net loss, right? Right, so this is the operating loss, not the operating income. So we have an operating loss of $45,000. Moving on to the next question. Um, It says, if sales commissions are discontinued and fixed salaries are raised by a total of $81,000, what would be the annual break-even points in units sold and in revenues? So basically, you're going to find that too. So um, the sales commissions are discontinued. Fixed salaries are raised by 81,000. We're to find the break-even points in units sold and in revenues. So we're going to find the new break-even break points in essence. The new break-even points. So basically, the revised, the revised fixed cost... Is equals to three sixty thousand dollars plus eighty one thousand dollars because the eighty one thousand dollars comes from the fixed salaries that are raised by eighty one thousand. So we have a raise in the fixed in the fixed salary by eighty one thousand, right? So we'll add that to the revised fixed cost and we we'll give we'll, to give us four forty one thousand dollars, and then the revised variable cost per unit. will be $21, which it was before, minus 1.50, and then this will give you $19.50. Now, the revised contribution margin will be equals to $30 that it was minus $19.50, right, from here, and then this will give you $10.50. Now, the contribution margin ratio will be equal to $10.50 divided by $30. And now, which is right here. And now, this is going to give you 35%. So, therefore, answering the question we're giving, the new break even point in units. The break even in units will be equal to 441,000, which is the revised fixed cost, divided by $10.50. And this is where it came from the revised contribution margin. And this will give you 42,000 units because it's in units, right? Now, the break even point, which is the second part of the question. In revenues, we'll give you in revenue. I'm sorry, um, we'll give you four forty one thousand, which is the revised fixed cost divided by thirty five percent, and this will give you. One million two sixty thousand and it's in dollars. Now moving on to the fourth question. It says refer to the original data. If an addition to is fixed salary, if an addition to his fixed salary, the store manager is paid a commission of thirty cents per unit sold. What would be the annual break even? points in units and in, in units sold and in revenues. So we have to find the additional sales commission.
So now the revised contribution margin. Will be equals to nine dollars minus zero point five cents, and this will give you eight point fifty cents, right? The revised contribution margin ratio will be equals to eight fifty eight point fifty that it was before divided by. $30 and this will give you 28.33%. So now, the answering the question, the break even in units will be equal to 360,000 divided by the 8.50, which is the um, revised contribution margin. And this will give you 42,000. 353.94 and then this is in units. Now the break even point in revenues will be equals to three sixty thousand divided by 28.33% and this will give you 1,270,588 and this is in dollars. So now moving on to the fifth question, the last final question. And this says, refer to the original data if an addition to a salary, fixed salary, the store manager is paid a commission of thirty cents per unit, so we are getting an additional commission of thirty cents per unit in excess of the breakdown unit points. What would be the store's operating income if fifty thousand units were sold? So we have to find the additional commission after break even. So the contribution margin per unit up to break even is is nine dollars and the contribution margin per unit after break even. is $8.50, right? So therefore, the total contribution margin will be equal to 40,000 units multiplied by $9 plus 10,000 units multiplied by $8.50 and then if you add this together this will give you 445,000 so then we less fixed cost and fixed cost is Three sixty thousand, and then the operating income will be equals to the operating income will be the difference, and that will be eighty five thousand dollars so as per the question this will be the store's operating income if fifty thousand units were sold so that's the answer to the entire question